All right, welcome back. So now what we're doing is record our voice over this little instrumental. So what we need to do first is make sure that the audio channel that we want to record our voice into is taking audio from you know, our microphone. My microphone is set to external in one. And so if you talk right here, you can see that you know, my voice or it's detecting my voice. But if we record, nothing will show up. First, we need to arm for recording. So now if I press this, you can see that it's detecting some signal. So now if I you know, record something over here, press F9 to record or just press this top record button. Oh, whoa. Okay. And just by doing that, now you can see that it's recorded my voice right here. Oh, whoa. Okay, uh, beautiful. But the thing is, when you're recording like this, you won't be able to hear your own voice through your headphones or earphones. And typically if you're singing, you would want to hear your own voice. So this is why we have in right here. This is called direct monitor. If we have it set to in, now we'll be able to hear our own voice as we're talking to the microphone. Now keep in mind that if you don't have the best computer or you don't have an audio interface or if you don't have a ACL for all, then you might get some delay when you're recording. And you might be able to hear some delay from when you're talking and when the program uh, sends the signal back to your ears. Now to avoid this, you do need some kind of audio interface or some audio driver. So what we're going to do first is just turn off direct monitoring because I want to stop hearing my own voice. And we're going to go into options and preferences. Now if you go to audio over here, there's a driver type. Yours will probably be set to MME DirectX. Uh, however, if, if you set it to that, there will probably be some delay. Now you can go to the internet and get ACO for all version 2. Just Google that and you'll go to get it for free. Just download it, install it, and you'll be done. I use a Focusrite USB uh, audio uh, interface. And thanks to that, I won't really get any delay when I'm recording. So now if we just look back at this, if you set it to in and you record, press F9 to record. So now I can just record my voice along with And I'm not very good with vocals, so I'm not even going to try singing. Yep. Press spacebar to stop. So now the thing is, we're set to in. And if you look at these clips, they're almost transparent. Um, the problem is that if we set it to in, we would not be able to hear our voice. That is a problem, right? So how do we get back to being able to hear our own voice? Well, you have to set it to either auto or off. So now if we listen to it now. So now I can just record my voice along with uh, this song. And I'm not very good with vocals, so I'm not even going to try singing. Yep. Alright, so as you can see, I was not moving my mouth. Uh, but you are still able to hear my voice. All right, and that is how you get your voice recorded into Ableton. In the next part of this little series, we'll be looking at how to record your voice into multiple audio channels if you just want to do that.